Previously on Phoenix Wright's Spirit of Justice. Well, that was certainly a more entertaining testimony than usual. <laughs> A variety of characters performed by the witness was absolutely splendid! <laughs> Reminds me a little bit of somebody else! Who? Yeah, who? Who are you talking about? Yes, I'd like to know as well. Me too! Sir, seriously? You guys have- You haven't noticed yet? Fucking idiots, all of you! Don't you realize what's going on? <sighs> Whatever, I, I've already forgotten what I was talking about. Anyway! And now, back to channeling people! Hello! Sneako B! Back with some more Phoenix Wright Spirit of Justice! We last left off, we met the gooviest freaking witness who went to a tornado. Who all of you are saying is, this is what Nico B would be if you were in this game. <laughs> oh my god, you're so right. Uh, yes, I would probably be the guy with multiple personality, would, <laughs> would not. Yes, and I, you also sort of enlightened me in how, wow, I, a lot of ways what this guy does as a Rakugo artist is a lot like what I do. <laughs> and I never really realized that. Wow. <laughs> Apparently they have a thing for that in Japan. How, how about that? That made his character absolutely perfect for me. But it's good so far, you know, for a case that, uh, you know, honestly, I guess it's just more of a filler case than anything. It's been pretty interesting so far. Mostly because of Blackwell and also Wendo, was just, he's just been a fun witness. Um, a part of me still does kind of wish they would have uh, done something that was more related to the main story. I kind of, I like that, you know, I, I like when every case in like a series uh, sort of ties in even a little bit to the main story. I think Ace Attorney Investigations 2 was like that, I think. I, <laughs> I could be wrong about that, but I, I mean, well... Yeah, yeah, even to an extent, like some of the, the cases that you thought, like, oh, I don't think that important or actually, were actually connected, sort of loosely. I think Trials and Tribulations was mostly like that too. I mean, while I'm enjoying this so far, and it's definitely good for a filler case, I, I don't know, I still think it would have been nice if they had, I mean, they could have given Athena a spotlight, right? And maybe even have Blackwell help her, but just had it been a case that actually did involve the main story? I don't know, I mean... Would that have been possible? I guess everyone's over in uh, Karayin, so they, they were struggling with that, but I guess technically Apollos didn't technically have to do anything to do with, like, the whole uh, Karayinism stuff. It was, but it did involve Trucy, so it was still, like, high stakes, right? <laughs> this one, we're just, I'm not gonna let Blackwood Soma shop go out of business! Where am I gonna go eat my noodles? I'm gonna have to start going to that other shitty place, El Dunes! Their noodles suck! But yes, anyway, it seems that we're gonna be, uh, uncovering the, uh, fourth hidden personality of, of a window here, Owen. Uh, which kinda makes me wonder, like, I mean, he's gotta be aware of it, right? If he's, like, otherwise he wouldn't have freaked out when he saw the, the cards and it said Owen fourth. He has to be aware that there's another side of him, right? So he's clearly lying about that. I, I still not totally certain that it's actually gonna end up being him though I, I think it might be more of like a well maybe he set things up to make it look like him or I, I don't know maybe he's just like mischievous or something but not necessarily the actual criminal I don't know I still think it's gonna end up being that balloon girl honestly just based on like her very little screen time that she's had and, and that's really about it I played too many of these games by now but the end could be totally wrong so let's find out all right Try, try, well, still day one, but second half of that same day. Let's get started. I'm probably going to record this all the way through. Hopefully it uh, isn't like eight hours. <laughs> they, they, yeah, yes, we, we really split in a weird place there. The first half's only a couple hours, and the second half is 13 hours. May 13, District Court, court number four. Okay, after visiting the little Udgy's room, I am back. Oh god, the <laughs> Oh no, I knew this bird was gonna land on my head at some point! No, no place! Oh my god, his claws are digging right into the fucking holes he left for the last time he was there. Right up my brain! <laughs> oh, I'm glad the bird landed on the judge's head. I was afraid he wasn't gonna show up at all. Now the sweet puzzle arrives, this course now back in session. Oh god, oh please! Go on the window! Eat up! Eat it! I'm, I'm not particularly hungry, actually. Mm, really prefer not to. Uh. Oh, oh my god, oh, nice flavor! It really tastes the sake! Oh, I was over looking at me. So I eat my food. Fuck off! Oh, that was delicious! I feel fucking wasted! <laughs> How much of a lightweight you have to be to get knocked out by this shit, huh? Yes, a unique sweetness in the faint aroma of sake. Yet, I hardly think that anyone could pass out from eating something like this. <laughs> Seriously, how big of a pussy are you? 
What's the matter, Wendu? You're not afraid of a tiny manju, are you? Are you scared of how many calories it has? <laughs> I know I am. If I ate too many of these, I couldn't possibly fit in my bikini. We all know beach season's just around the corner. D d don't, don't be ridiculous. A sweet little sna snack like this can possibly... I, I mean, it, it can never. Well, then eat up, punk motherfucker. Less bleeding and more eating witness. Uh, fine. Whatever. Oh, boy. I'm not. They're, ah, they're not even going to show them eating it. They're like, ah, fuck it. <laughs> okay, guys. Now for just this really short scene, we need you to animate him actually picking up the button and putting it in his mouth. Fuck you, dude, all right? For five, all of five seconds, nobody's going to care. Just black it out. He ate it. There. <laughs> What? See, I told you, it don't affect me in this life. Oh. <laughs> Might be like, but come on. Oh, my God. Seriously, nobody gets strung up one little. Oh, all the fans are falling out. Yeah, bleh. Oh lord, how's this gonna go? Oh! Oh. Here it is. What the fuck? Uh. Oh. It looks like it worked! That was... Wow! Okay. Not quite what I expected. <laughs> you look like a small child when you come up like that. Oh my! Witness, please tell the court your name and occupation. Are you old Wilson? I love your movies. Uh, huh. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh oh. Where, where is this going right now? Oh. My. My name is Owen. I'm five. Oh! <laughs> I guess there was a reason for that, Nico! You're, you're five years old! <laughs> am, I, am I in trouble? Please, please don't yell at me! Oh. <laughs> so he's the Windows fourth personality! You're not a Wilson, you lied to me, you little shit! Oh! Oh, God! <laughs> oh, sorry, Jeff. I see, you know, I've got a, I've actually got a grandson about your age. He's really into the Power Rangers or Care Bears or Adventure Time or whatever stupid shit's going on these days. Which color ranger is your favorite? Mine's the White Ranger, because he's got that sexy ponytail. I'd hardly think a child like him could have a motive to murder the victim. I suppose he could be pretending. And even if he had a motive, could he have actually committed the murder? Ah! That's a very good point. <laughs> oh, that was appearing to be very timid and weak. It's amazing what a different hairstyle can do for you, isn't it? Oh, dicks! <laughs> it seems the defense was hoping this hidden personality would be the real killer. But now that he's standing here before us... It is clear that none of Windows' personalities can be the killer. Ah! Where can I even go from here? God damn it! See so. He's so... <laughs> uh... Oh, Owen! Owen? Do you know something about what happened to your master? Ooh. Oh, uh, okay, so maybe he was around... That's that's why he's so scared, because he was, he was the one actually poor witness to the, uh, Shisho's death. <laughs> Come on, buddy! Won't you tell Auntie Athena what happened? Come here, little buddy! <laughs> <laughs> what a scary lady! I'm I'm not scary. Look, look at these big, big titties. I I mean, smile. Your titties aren't that big. Well, fine. Look at my thickness, then. Oh God! Athena, for the love of God, will you stop flashing everybody? I've got thick thighs, all right, and a big booty. Why does anyone notice it? Why does everyone just care about titties in this room? Tell me about your master, please. Pretty please, with sugar on top. Okay, Shisho was super nice. He always played with me, just like, just like a real grandpa. I love Shisho. <laughs> Athena, do you sense anything behind his words? I sense his sadness. Sadness so pure it's heartrending, but no discord. 
Okay, I guess it's not him playing, dicking around with us. Professor Samadhi is right. Own what isn't the killer. Called it. All right, it's gonna be it's gonna be Cloud Lady then. I knew it. But then, don't you find it odd? Find what odd? That's a reveal we've learned so far. The window rearranged the Karuda cards to pin the blame on Bucky. Well, that's because the original message implicated Owen. But Owen is only five years old and absolutely adores Master Tornado. Exactly. The other three personalities also have no motive for murder. If Owen isn't the true culprit, the person who first laid out the cards... Probably wouldn't have been Master Tornado! So then, who did it? Defense? Did the appearance of Owen help you figure anything out? Yes, Your Honor! I now know who it was that first laid out the Karuda cards. But, but, but I thought it was the victim! Right? No, Your Honor! I do believe it was! Don't believe it was! The one who first arranged the Karuda cards on the table was none other than... The true killer, Wet Noodle number three. Uh, Windows, <laughs> Windows fifth rest. <laughs> okay, I, you know what? I'm a little tempted to do that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and save real quick. I know it's not that; it's gonna be the true killer, but I just, just want to say Windows fifth personality. He's calling out a fifth personality. Here we go. You guys ready for this? <laughs> if it's not the fourth personality, Owen, then it must be a fifth personality. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, Athena. And why would a fifth personality try to pin the blame on the fourth? Both inhabit the same body, after all. Well, oh, psychology expert. <laughs> um! It appears our psychology experts run out of expertise, boy! Huh. The view who rearranged the cause and the modus, oh, psychology expert! Ah! I do have an aim, I'll have you all do! Okay, that was just a joke. <laughs> I like how these are the options, too. <laughs> no, it was clearly wet noodle number three. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's just move on. Zero deaths, baby. I believe the person who laid the cards out is the very person who killed Typhoon Tornado. Hmm. How quickly you move on to a new target when your Owen theory proves false. You both cook it, Conan. Hey, motherfucker, language. I don't know what a pull Kunan is, but I'm definitely not one! It means thick ass girl! Oh, well, well, never mind. Then I am one! Good lord, you'll make up your goddamn mind, Athena! Shut up, Simon! Before you start with the disturbance, why don't you hear me out? Yes, let's hear the defense's reasoning. Please proceed, Miss Sykes. But if you are bluffing, I swear to God, I'm just gonna let that shit slide, because I, I do all the time! Lord knows right doesn't every fucking chance he gets! I won't go easy on you! I understand, Your Honor. Now then, please recall the original crime scene. Who did the Karuna car's name when the scene was discovered? A scene. I believe they implicated the defendant, Bucky Wet. That's right. But when we found the, out the message, we originally read Owen Ford. Hmm. She implicated the young boy, Owen. Exactly. And the person who rearranged the cars was undoubtedly a window. The window may have kept silent, but we can be sure he already knew his master was dead. His tampering with the crime scene used the TV, using the TV all but proves it. Yeah. I, I, I confess, I, I tampered with the crime scene. <laughs> the reason the window rearranged the Karuda cards and moved the TV was because he saw the Owen fourth message. He was convinced Owen had committed the crime. Right on, Prosecutor Blackwell. It would seem that Owen and the other three personalities don't share the same memories. Well, really, there is no fourth personality. It's just the three of us in here. I want no fear that Owen had killed Ma Master Tornado, so he tried to hide Owen from us. I see. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> why would they why would they assume the child of the fucking personalities would be the killer? Come on! Seriously! But it turns out Owen is but a five-year-old child, incapable of hurting a fly. Well oh. Well I guess maybe he did he didn't even realize that, right? But he how but then how would he know that it exists if it's I mean, right? I guess it had to be evidence left behind up from other times he's been around. 
but they didn't know for certain. I mean, I, I imagine as a child, he probably would have been like, leaving maybe crayon drawings or something. I, I don't know. I feel like there still had to be some indication to him that it was clearly a, uh, <laughs> a, a, a child that was his f uh, fourth personality. Incapable of hurting a fly, let alone his beloved master. So naturally, the culprit must be somebody else! And this somebody else, the true killer! Try to be the car about Owen! Wait, does that mean every time Owen comes out, he's a little inebriated? <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even thought of that! Ah, oh, poor little baby! Oh, mm, I see! That does make sense! Objection! No, it doesn't! Shut up, Baldy! This is not but conjecture, composed of half-truths and fantasy! Who, then, do you maintain may murder the victim? The only other person involved in this case! I believe Owen might know something about that! Do you remember balloons? Giant titties! A sovereign mind, of course! I refuse to allow such impromptu testimony from a five-year-old, no less. Such a young child is incapable of producing anything coherent. Fuck you! I was a witness when I was a little kid, too! So what if it scarred me for life and gave me some serious PTSD? I grew up to be a very well-balanced person! But... Your desperation is disgraceful. You should realize when it's time to let it go and... I, I saw it. I, I saw she show getting... You do know something, don't you? Y yeah. Aw. Uh -uh. Oh my! This is true! If so, we must have Owen testify immediately! Just don't anyone explode or bl start bleeding out in front of her, please! For the love of God! <laughs> I'm tired of scarring these poor kids for life! Don't you agree, prosecutor somebody? Uh, no! Well, fuck you! Nobody likes you anyway! It's alright, Owen! Go ahead and tell Uncle Budgie what's up! <laughs> oh, it just looks so adorable, though. I saw it. Shisho was standing with a knife in his hand. Blood was dripping onto Shisho's face, getting it all red. I couldn't move at all. I was so scared, I passed out. <laughs> this is Iwa's testimony from the moment of the murder. Oh, wait! Could you tell us that? anything else about what you saw? I... Oh, I was so scared. Oh, so, so scared. Oh, wait! His emotions are spiraling out of control. So you must have really frightened him. You're gonna need some real therapy now! Uh, is he alright? You okay, little buddy? His emotions are running wild because he's trying to recall something frightening to him. I recommend a therapy session right away! For once, I actually agree with you. Yes, please do whatever you can to help the poor boy! We'll do, your honor! Man, what? <laughs> what kind of horrible trauma uh, <laughs> Uwendo had to go through to have caused him to have four split personalities. Holy shit. I don't think we want to know. Oh my god! Better find the cause of these out of control emotions. Pronto! Widget time! <laughs> Okay, all right, man. Let's see if we can figure it out. Ah, uh, he's scared. Ah! Shisho was standing with a knife in his hand. Blood was dripping onto his Shisho's face, getting it all red. I couldn't move at all. I was so scared, I passed out. Okay, but, well, clearly, it's not Shisho himself. And it's probably not the knife, because he uses the knife for cutting the noodles, right? So it's going to be the blood on his face. Got it! Gotcha! Yeah, blood was stripping down to Shisha's face. Blood? I don't remember seeing any blood in the crime scene photos. Yeah. Uh... Did he mistake it for something else? Besides, the victim was standing upright. How could blood drip down into his face? As I expected, all we managed to obtain from this child is a tale he dreamt up. God, are you as cold as fucking ice? Ah! I guess it's a little weird for blood to drip onto the victim's face if he was standing up. Unless it dripped down from the ceiling or something? What do you think, Simon? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Owen's one confused and upset kid right now. 
So who knows how accurate his memory is? Maybe it's time for that 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 thing instead. Huh? What thing? My widget! That's right! Blackwell widget time! <laughs> what the hell? You copied me! No, you you copied me! I came up with a widget and you followed after me! No! What the hell? You're the sword guy with the fingers and shit! Well now I'm also the widget guy, I'm, but I came up with it first. You're technically widget too. No! No! You're so full of shit! Siren! You're still the only gameplay mechanic I have! A thing you and your cohorts do. What do you call it? Rotate your thinking about. <laughs> no, it's turn the case around. Gotta find the killer. Oh, you mean turn the thing around? Yes, whatever. It's the same thing either way. No, it isn't. Who has heard of rotating your thinking? I mean, rotate is. Hey, what a demon second. What? That's the other thing you all say all the time. You know, what, you know what, Simon? In this case, I think rotate just might work perfectly after all. Come again. All we can do is rotate my my things by 90 degrees. We saw his master. Oh, it must have been uh lying on the floor doing a hands <laughs> doing a handstand pressed against the wall a wall. Uh, lying on the floor. Oh, it must have been lying on the floor when he witnessed his master's murder. What? What? That's the conclusion I arrived at, arrived at when I rotated my thinking by 90 degrees! Oh yes, of course. Which means that all the visuals of my matrix were off by 90 degrees! Uh, and? And? They rotate 90 degrees! And? This means Master Shane was also lying on the floor! What solves another mystery? And which mystery is that? The mystery of how blood could have been dripping onto the victim's face. It becomes much easier to imagine how that could happen if he was lying down. Like someone bleeding on a Master Tineo from somewhere up above him! I remember now, somebody was sitting up on top of she's shelf. Okay, that's a little way. So try to recall his master's bloody killer is what spooked Owen originally. The blood that stained the victim's face red came from the person sitting on top of him. The victim was holding a knife, so he likely nicked his attacker as he was as he was fighting back. This means his assailant was injured on the face somewhere, like like the foreheads, perhaps, or maybe the nose, which is hidden by that big red thing she's got on top of it, right? Ah! It's gonna be her. I mean, come on, we have nobody else here. All right, in a case that's so small and limited, right? I bet it is it. It's gonna be on her right behind her uh, big clown nose. Assuming the victim and his attack were face to face, then yes. I see. So, so that is what happened. But if I recall correctly, the accused has a fresh bandage on his forehead, does he not? Oh! Ah! <laughs> oh! Shit! <laughs> that injury, of Mr. Wentz. It's conclusive evidence that he committed this murder. Why? God damn it, Owen! <laughs> it seems you have dug yourself into a pit you cannot crawl out of. No! Even though I figured out the reason for Owen's out of control emotions, all I did was raise further suspicions against my own client! What do I do now? What's the matter? You aren't thinking of throwing in the towel, are you? But it looks so bad for Bucky! I mean, he had both motive and opportunity! Plus, he has that injury on his forehead! Your Honor, I sense the defense is finally ready to let it go and move on. God, I love to say that. Almost as much as I like to say putrid. Well, Miss Sykes, are you ready to let it go? Let it go! I understand that you don't like the movie Frozen. How is that even fucking possible? Get out of my corner with it! No! I'm just saying I don't like it anymore! After prosecutor said book! You just don't understand, right? That movie changed my life, man! I'm saying you don't want to give up your own your client. But I won't allow you to prolong this trial without a good reason. Uh, he still has noise? That's a good reason. I learned your best, but it also has point to the fact that she sucks at this. We said she gave up. She tried everything she could. I really, really don't want to back down, but... Silence. Silence. You all shut the fuck up. So says Daddy Blackwell. Athena, are you having doubts about Bucky, Bucky's innocence? I, I wouldn't say that. It's just... Remember, my soba shop is at stake here. 
Do you remember what you said to Bucky earlier this morning? T Don't fall on me! Not that part! <laughs> of course, no matter what, I'll believe you to the very bitter end! Well, that was just empty words. Yes, Simon! Oh, well, okay then. <laughs> just, just clarify. Oh, of course not! Just, all the cards are stacked against us! Are you still stuck on that line of thinking? Oh! Woo -hoo! Motive! Opportunity and an injury to his forehead! Is that all it takes to make you stop believing in your client? <laughs> Holy shit! Ah, ah, oh my god! Ah, this first person perspective is freaking me out now! Ah! Uh, oh my god, I wanna see I wanna see I wanna see this outside of her perspective, him just grabbing her by the collar like, what are you doing? Simon, you're grabbing my titties! Oh, sorry. Tell me again! Who are you, Tabaki? Uh, I'm I'm his Miss Chickadee lawyer! And do your duty and believe in him until the very end! I I will! Simon's absolutely right! I'm Bucky's lawyer! And he's depending on me! <laughs> Defense team, please! No fighting in my courtroom, Jesus! Save for the fucking bedroom! The defense is ready to resume, Your Honor! Sir Black will just give me a pep talk, that's all! That's right, he smacks around the ass. Oh, yeah! There we go! That, now we're really ready to go! Thank you, prosecutor! <laughs> Believe in your thickness, Athena! <laughs> yes, you're right! You're right, Simon! I didn't do it for your sake. I did it for the future of what's sober! In my sober! Yeah, yeah, I got it! The defense would like to con no, continue with Owen's therapy session! Hmm, Owen, would you be alright with that? Uh, uh, okay. Um, so, somebody was sitting up on top of Shisho, bleeding from their head, and smushing something into Shisho's face. That's funny. What is it? I still hear Discord in Owen's voice, but I don't sense any inconsistencies between his statements and his emotions. There don't seem to be any contradictions in his testimony itself, either. Ah, so that's how, that's it, huh? Ah. Just figure something out. Your ability to sense emotions is making you focus too much on his feelings, Athena. There's actually something he's being very vague about in his testimony. Can clarify what he's feeling and uncertain about with some evidence. You should be able to move forward from there. Uh, okay, that makes sense. I'll give it a try. Let's we'll update the mood matrix with new information. We'll be ready to go. So I just need to present some evidence on what Owen is being vague about, huh? What's being smushed in his face, right? <laughs> Wait, he's holding that knife there. He's kind of, <laughs> kind of fucking looking. Okay, she shot a blow in his face and a knife in his hand. He was on the floor, and somebody was smushing something onto his face. <laughs> <laughs> and I was sideways here. Okay, so what was being smushed? Do I have it in my the soba? It's, oh, the the soba bowl itself. No, but no, we we said he didn't drown. So something in the picture here, right? Objection. Yeah, there we go. Let's put a name to the the thing Owen's so uncertain of, shall we? By identifying the murder weapon that was used to suffocate the victim. Fortunately for us, I spied the murder weapon. Right here in this crime scene photo! Unfortunately for you, I spy nothing of the sort. And the police did not spy anything of the sort during the investigation either. Pray tell, where is the murder weapon you see? You don't see it because it no longer looks the way it did when it was used as a weapon. This is what the killer pressed into Master Tenado's face! Soba itself? Yeah, okay. <laughs> wow! He got murdered with his own Soba! The mystery person that Owen saw pressed Soba into the victim's face, thereby suffocating him! <clears throat> How could wary of t your tasteless jokes? How could anyone commit murder with soft, delicate Soba? The noodles would instantly fall apart if they were pressed into someone's face. Yes, I agree! Well, I disagree. There's a way the Soba could have been used to suffocate the victim. If it was in the ball. What? 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 You will explain your theory at once, Miss Sykes. To kill Mr. Tenado, the culprit must have smothered him with... Uncooked Soba noodles, balled up Soba noodles, uncut Soba dough. 
Oh, I thought we were gonna say it was. They're gonna say well, it was just in the bowl or something. Um, I believe it'd be the dough, right? Yeah. You smush that so into someone's face. Papa must use the sub before it was cut into noodles. In other words, the murder weapon was raw sub a dough. Oh. Do I have actually any proof of that though? <laughs> Any actual, like, evidence of that? Order, order in the car! Yeah, Sobado could definitely be used to suffocate someone, couldn't it? Oh, the the flower everywhere, maybe, right? Are you all right, Prosker Samadhi? I was just letting the so soul of the victim know that the accused will finally face justice, thanks to the foolish lawyer before me. Huh? What are you talking about? Allow me to summarize your statements. As the accused was killing the victim, he was slashed by the f in the face by the victim's knife. The weapon he used to suffocate the victim with was the dough in the dressing room. He then disposed of the murder weapon by c cutting the soap of dough into noodles. <laughs> ah, ah, damn it! Are you smarmy? <laughs> ah. Foolish mortals! Yes, Butterfly, yes. Afterwards, the accused put the victim's face into the bowl of soba, noodles, and broth to wash off the blood that had dripped onto the victim's face from his own. And there you have it, the true sequence of events behind this foul affair. Now wait just a minute! I never once said that Mr. White was the culprit! Hmm. Who but the accused knows how to cut dough into noodles' defense? That's a very good point, prosecutor somebody! Or that cutting soba and dough into uniform noodles requires considerable training. But then what about the dying message? How do you explain that? The defendant wouldn't have known about the window's Owen personality! Perhaps the victim was simply playing with the cars, and they they hold no other meaning. Perhaps he spelled out Owen's name in jest sometime before his murder. That's true! The Roman's testimony is clear that Master Shaneo cared for the boy. Mm, appears we've arrived at a compelling conclusion. Together, all these points paint a convincing picture of the defendant's guilt. And I haven't had a guilty verdict in a long time, so fuck it! You're going to jail, bitch! Hold it! Oh, wait! Is there anything else you can tell us? It doesn't matter how small of a detail. Anything will do! Oh, you're scaring me. Oh, I'm sorry, Owen. Oh, dear, Athena didn't mean to raise her voice. I'd be gentle with him. God damn it! Weak little fragile shit! I can't forget he's only five years old! No need to be scared, okay, sweetie? Just tell us anything you remember. Well, oh, then I woke up. The person who killed Shisho was standing over me, bleeding from their head. From their head? Oh, uh, what? Owen! You saw the killer's face! Ah! Ah! Oh, okay, well, she's, but she's got her hair down, so that could work. I figure it was behind her nose, but... Oops, I did it again! So, so, who, who, who was it, Owen? Do you, do you remember? Uh, I, I... I don't know who it was. I'm picking up some noise. Mm, that means there's still something to uncover in Owen's testimony! Stop, turn up! I don't know what Owen saw, but suffice to say we are analyzing the dreams of a child. We've wasted enough of our time, defense. Let it go and move on! Come on, just let it go! No! No! There's still discord in Owen's heart that needs to be addressed! Therefore, I can't give in here! Owen, you think you can continue your testimony for us? <laughs> okay. On to the new info! We're an update then! Okay. She should have blood on his face and a knife in his hand. Smothered with dough! Blech. He was on the floor and somebody was smushing dough into his face. Scared and surprised. I couldn't move at all. I was so scared I passed out. And when I woke up... The person who killed Shisha was standing over me. Oh! Why were you happy?! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Despite witnessing the culprit's terrible crime firsthand, Owen experienced a positive feeling. One of 
Relief? The person the witness saw was no stranger. Rather, it was the accused. Therefore, it's only natural that he felt some level of relief when he saw a familiar face. Defense, end this madness and sully your soul no more. Owen, who did you see? That nice smell. I love the smell of that perfume. Ah, uh, here we go. Zero, there we go. Bye bye. All right, it is that crazy bitch. It's the smell of, of, uh. You can do it. Try to run, Owen. Get deep. Oh. Smell of, of. Ah! Whoa! All the pedals are flying. Uh, oh wait! Did the buzz wear off? We need another bun out here, stat. Oh, it seems Owen is not resting in the infirmary. He's dead. They certainly have their hands full today down there. <laughs> Let's continue with the trial. Despite Owen's testimony, is the opinion of this humble servant of the Holy Mother. The child's words were insufficient to clear the accused of suspicion. But, but what about the scent of perfume Owen mentioned? I believe it's a clue that will lead us to the true culprit. Mmm, but there are thousands of perfumes in the world. It could even be the scent of the hair product of the accused uses. That's true, that stuff stacks! It certainly does have one amazing hairstyle, so that's certainly possible. I wish I had, I wish I could pull that off. I have an amazing do too! Butterfly, you don't have any hair. Silly butterfly! Ah, oh, you got me, beauty! Oh, we're having fun. Uh, the witness is a five year old boy. Can I tell the difference between conventional perfumes and hair products? Ah! Why couldn't you have gone for a crew cut or something, Bucky? God damn it! What's more, the only person who can cut sober noodles with such precision is the accused and no other. Oh man! How am I supposed to argue with that? And so, the person Owen saw at the scene of the crime can only be the accused Bucky Wet. Huh? Who said that? Uh. Ah! Uh, what the dicks? Sup, dudes? <laughs> it's, uh, I'm back! Hey! 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 Hey, you guys want some sub? <laughs> Okay, fuck it. This, this fat fuck's going to jail. Fucking die, fucking! I never use that rocket hand anything. What a smell. Fuck. If I want something like that, that smell would get in the soma. Yeah, it's clearly. Boom, check it. Oh, oh, oh he's actually riding his skateboard when he's moving around. Oh, he's passing out soma. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Ah, uh, Mr. What? Aren't you supposed to be resting in the infirmary? I don't want your nasty soda! <laughs> okay, so the smell is clearly coming from the girl because we mentioned before how he would say to her, oh, your your smelly perfume would get in the, the soda. <laughs> you think I'd let my soda stink of perfume? Hey, try that chill soda for yourself and sink! I believe we have no choice but to try it. Str strictly for examination purposes, of course. What am I supposed to do even with my fucking face? Alan, let's dig in, shall we? I'm ready to <laughs> The judge just takes his face and just goes right in there. For unfortunately, I have no arms to use this with. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh, did I get some of my beard? Oh, I'm going to save that for later. Mm, that was delightful. <coughs> well, I'm satisfied. There are no trace of hair products or perfumes in Mr. Wet so Soba. First sweet bean buns and now savory soba. What a delectable trial this has been. We need to indict some more chefs in here. This texture is different from the soba I had the other day. It reminds me of a dish we have in Kurayin called Banu Banu Pun. Banu Pun? Ba Banu Pun? Uh, uh, what'd you say, Miss Chickadee? This sounds pretty good, isn't it? It's only six eighty nine. Mmm, mmm, delicious. Do you think, Simon? So, Simon. <laughs> Still pales in comparison to his late father's cuisine. It disgusts me. Never mind. Kill him, Zathina. Let him die. So, Simon, 
Why you always gotta be so hard on me? Because you're drunk and slobby, you deserve to die! Well, I'll take that defendant back to the infirmary at once for some rest before he vomits all over my fucking floor again. Okay, come on, you throw up on me again, though, I swear to God. Yes! Hey, I ain't a lump of plain old weedy old on dough, you know? I'm like fresh like my soba! You don't know, let soba do rest, it's about the three freshes of soba! Right? I know, it's like, this is gonna play into something, right? Alright, let's see, it's fresh, cut the dough fresh! Just beating that shit home. Which is probably gonna suggest that the person who did it didn't follow those things, or, or did too, I, I don't know, or the fact that they just talk about it all the goddamn time. Good grief. What offend it. Good grief. At least Becky wasn't the source of the perfume smell. Wait! Press smelly perfume! My god! Looks like you remembered something about goddamn time. A very smelly perfume. Remind me of a certain somebody. Oh, who might that be? Who could it possibly be? Who else do we still have in this case? I don't know. So only one person that comes to mind. A very smelly perfume. Remind me of this person. Simon Aquil, you ever wear smelly perfume? No, it's just my manly cologne, all right? It's not perfume. It's totally different. Okay, fine. It's, it's clearly clone girl. Take that. Garu Tornado! Garu Tornado! tornado. Mm. Yeah, she did sm smell very nice, didn't she? Oh, go, we're gonna bring her out and she can jiggle for me some more? Just a moment, Defense. You would throw suspicion on Garu now because of a scent. Your Honor, there is no need to go along with these ever changing claims of the Defense. Hmm, suppose her claims have been awfully inconsistent. Uh, but Garu could have been at the crime scene! Yes, but. Don't get to see those balloons of ours if we call her back to the witness stand! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you just said the magic fucking words, Athena! I was getting tired of you and your thick thighs. No, oh, let's see some real meat. For the love of God! <clears throat> How vulgar! Keep it in your pants! This honor is not interested in such things. Mmm. <clears throat> Saying the matter of her balloons aside entirely, I do not care about that at all! Oh wait a minute, I just realized, was that Kokichi as my bailiff? I'm, so, I'm, I'm getting all these people fucking confused. <laughs> now it's me, I was doing my Kokichi impressions, you like it, I see? Oh, it's kinky, oh! We should do that, try that shit in the bedroom next time. I didn't know you could do voices, Commander. Oh yeah, I can do lots of voices. I can do you too, look. Hi, I'm the judge, oh! Oh, sweet! I've always wondered if you like to go and fuck myself. But anyway, I digress. I don't believe it's appropriate to ask Gary some questions, given the circumstances. There's just nothing to do with her big giant titties! Of course. Big sopping wet melons barely covered by a racing t-shirt. Thank you, Your Honor! Oh my god. Pokurka! Polboobka! It's fucking titties. Oh, here we go, baby. Give me some of that jiggle physics. Oh, she brought back the, the cake and the hat, too. Thank you for coming to the side for the Denuda Scooter for Cuckoo back for an encore. It's me, Blue Nars, and you all know and love. Gamer Janita, ooh! Oh, yeah, wiggle around for me. Oh, ah! <laughs> One, two, mm, blue! Ah! Oh, yes, do it ah! Oh, oh, what a wonderful balloon artistry. Oh, yeah, boy! Your, your honor, please! Shut up. I don't have a bottom half of my body, all right? I'm just a floating disembodied head. Yeah. What would you like me to make for you, for you this time? I'm um, actually, I called you back for more testimony. But I'm all talked out. This case has left me completely deflated. Huh. I don't know about that. <laughs> Those meat bags are just otherwise. What? You didn't find that funny? <laughs> anyway, what exactly is going on, Simon? It seems the person who murdered Master Tornado was wearing perfume. And you were the only person I could think of who wears perfume. Wait! You mean I'm a suspect now? Mm. Garu, you knew about Owen, right? Well, 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 yes. I have to play with the magician's request. That means you could have left that fake dying message, right? <laughs> what? Just because I wear perfume and no Owen? You think I'm a murderer? How could you? Why the hell did you bring up earlier that you knew Owen? And who he was? There was a five-year-old boy! You was a soldier my goddamn time to! The witness is absolutely right. With no evidence but the distorted memories of a small child. Mm. 
She's outrageous in the defense to accuse this woman. Th th that's right. You don't even have any proof. You may step down from the stand, Gayru. The defense does not have one scrap of evidence that connects you to the crime. Wait just one minute, wait it! I may not have proof, but Owen's testimony is still... Enough! Please feel free to leave, Gayru. But, but I'm so close! There must be something I can do! Well, if the prosecutor says it's okay, then I guess I'll be going. Silence! I'll take my balloons with me. Silence! No! Time for some more Blackwell Dark Arts! Oi, Garu! You're an entertainer, aren't you? Once you go on stage, your duty to complete your performance, is it not? So what are you doing? Leaving halfway through! Watch this! Here I go! Ha! Ah! Oh! Oh, there's the fa- <laughs> And there was the bandit! The there's a bandit on Garu's forehead! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yes! What a well, what a perfect like time sword slice that was! So we know that Master Tato's killer has a cut on their face somewhere! Impossible! No! Fuck those fingers! Ha! <laughs> That's what the ladies say! Prosco said monk! Ah ha! Not something you know very much about, would it? Shut up! I get plenty of puss! I will have you know! Ha! <laughs> yeah, right. You wish you had this panda's looks. How did you know, Simon? Huh. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I didn't really. I just feel like slicing some shit. I, I haven't done it nearly enough this trial. But I had to take a chance to see for myself. Otherwise, your theory would remain a groundless accusation. Oh, yeah! Double whammy! Your Honor! Prosecutor Sabani! I sent up a few. An injury on the forehead! These things are completely consistent with Owen's testimony! In short, the mysterious individual Owen saw in the dressing room could have been Garu! Miss Sykes, does this mean you are formally indicting this witness for the murder of Tyro Janela? Satura, should your accusation prove to be false, I hope you are prepared to pay the food for the price in food. S Simon, what price are you talking about? Huh, it's gonna blow up your HP bar. Oh no, not that! Thought that should be obvious. Roscoe Sandbug is saying that it'll see to it you never stand in a court of law again. Why can't I ever say that? Why can't I ever be like, hey, I'll make sure you can't ever be a prosecutor again? Ouch! Why do the prosecutors have all the fucking power in these games? I must say, though, he knows how to make our trial interesting. What are you on, Simon? Go on, then. Into the deep end with you. I really have but one choice anyway. Well, my sykes, I'm waiting. With regards to the witness camera to you, the next wishes to... No, I give up! I'm just kidding. There's no reason for me to hold back! Not if I really believe my client! Which I only sort of do, but anyway! The next wish is to formally indict Garretania for the murder of Tyro Daniel! Mm -hmm. I've tried to be merciful, but now not even your pleas will reach the Holy Mother's ears! You will have plenty of time to regret your decision in the pit of hell! Except I won't need to! The person who murdered the victim was not Mr. Wet! It was Garretania! It's just, it's just from a silly slip of a me while cooking yesterday, that's all. What kind of extreme cooking were you doing to cut your soul the horn? Well, what can I say? That's what, ha that's what happened. You also don't have an alibi for the period before 4 p.m., do you, Garu? But, but, I really didn't know anything was wrong until she, she was found dead. <laughs> if you don't believe me, then with a twist, a twist, a twist. <laughs> Oh, we got a new friend! And blue, they have it! An adorable little kitty! How can you expect a cutesy little balloon artist like me? Oh my god, it, the longer this goes on for, the more she turns into that, uh, uh, one character from another face run let's play. I always forget her fucking name! Oh, e e Eenie Meenie, right. She's turning into Eenie! Eenie, woo! <laughs> okay, I've been meaning to say this for a while now, but could it be that you don't have an eye for a balloon art? Don't you think I knew that? You didn't have to come out and say it! <laughs> I'm the daughter of a Greek cuckoo artist! I don't want to be a too stu stupid balloon art! <laughs> yeah, this, this shit is kind of terrifying. It's, it's not... It doesn't look anything like you say it, it does! I was supposed to be Rakugo's storyteller too, just like my late daddy! But she should told me to do balloon art instead! Mm -hmm. Wow, thanks for giving us a fucking motive! I guess the victim thought she had no talent as a Rakugo artist either! 
So you're still gonna suspect a poor little thing like me? But please stop trying to skirt the issue! It all comes down to the scent of perfume and the cut on your forehead! Now you and the culprit know his testimony share these two traits! You're dead Santa accusing me, are you? Dee, well, here's what I have for naughty little girls like you with the twisty twist twist! Ew. Ah! I'ma cut you, witch! I'ma cut you, bitch! Go ahead and make me test for all you want! When the truth is revealed, it'll be your balloon of mine, or mine that goes pop! Got it! <laughs> oh my! Is that another hidden personality? Ah! <laughs> oh my god, my boner has gone up tenfold now! Simon, is everybody in the tornado school like this? How should I know? This is why I barely talk to her. She's fucking insane. Could've told me that earlier. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bonk. What I did before the murder. Yeah, I visited the dressing room during the time to make a cozy call after my hat. She showed Owen were in there, but they were supposed to snore up a storm. I saw the note she should left, so I just... So I just left. Didn't want to disturb me, no. The perfume and smell must have been left over when I visited. Yeah! So Kara was saying she went to the dressing room, but then left right away. Huh. Don't take her at her word. Come on, do you really think I would? Just trying to figure out how to get her to talk about what really happened. Now then, Miss Sykes, you may proceed with your cross-examination. Alright, come on, bring it on, big tits! I'll see who's better. Their tits are my thickness! What I did for the murder, here we go! Yeah, visit the dressing room during the time to make a courtesy call after my act. A courtesy call after your performance, huh? Come to think of it, no one don't mention making the same kind of visit. Yeah, visit to your master before and after your routine! This is common courtesy with us Rakuga artists and entertainers! So that means you paid the victim a courtesy call before your performance too, right? What did you see at the time? He was having a drink and getting himself into a festive mood. He liked to say that drinking gave him a silver tongue. So he was already drinking by then. The window wasn't there in the dressing room yet at that time. He must have gone in there during my act, because when I went back... Shisho and Owen were in there, but they were both snoring up a storm. Did you describe how they appeared? They were both stretched down the floor, snoozing away. Seeing the victim up and over the table must have been the culprit's doing. After all, they wouldn't stretch out on the floor if they could take a nap. Plus, it matched up with what Owen said in his testimony. But if he was asleep, how could you tell it was Owen? How did you know it wasn't a window? I've known the guy for ages. We're well, looking at his face and I know which one I'm dealing with. His hair changes for fuck's sake. I see. Crazy face. She got fucking fangs too, I think. Uh, I saw the note she should have left, left, so I just left. Didn't want to disturb her, you know? Where did you find your master's note? I don't know. Can't remember. Did you notice anything else unusual or out of place in the room? Well, there was the sake and happy manjo at the table. But I didn't see anything else out of place or whatever in the room, though. Oh, is that a fact? Of course it is! What do you think? And you didn't change anything around while you were there in there. I didn't do anything! Look, I'm telling you! I didn't see anything funny near Shisho. And I didn't touch anything in the room! Your baldness. Of course, that statement be had to get his testimony. Simon! What's a statement like that going to do for us? Just play along and you'll see soon enough. Ah. Hmm, I've no problem with adding that to the testimony, but how about you, Miss Sykes? I have no problem with it either, Your Honor. I'm Simon thinking, this is my trial, Simon! Please, it was a side character again, Athena. <laughs> it's all about me. I didn't see anything funny near Shisho, and I didn't touch anything in the room. Okay, he's referring to the, the career cards. Objection! Booyah! Okay, Rue, you said you didn't notice anything odd or unusual near your master. You also said you didn't touch anything in the dressing room. That's right! What about it? Then, I wonder who left that dying message with the Karuta cards? 
What are you going on about? It hadn't been a Bucky! Sorry, but that's not possible! Because only three people knew of the Windows personalities! The window, your master, and you! <laughs> if Bucky hadn't left that Karuda message, he wouldn't have spelled out Owen. He would have spelled out a window. What it boils down to is this. As a member of the Tenero School, you, Garutano! I was the only one who could have left that dying message! And as the number of person who left that message, it's clear that you are Master Tenero's killer! Oh my gosh, you bite it! Bite the balloon! Oh yes, bite my balloon too! Ah. You are like wretches clinging to the spider thread of salvation. Allow me to cut that holy thread from the heavens and bring you back down to earth. Would you quit butting in whenever things start to go my way? It's my job! Silence, child. Playtime is over. What did you just say? As the witness stated, she went into the dressing room and soon came back out again. But the victim's note was not the only reason she left with such haste. There was another reason that compelled Gabriel to leave at once. Gabriel, would you please relate said reason to the court? There was a reason why Gabriel had to leave the root dressing room. Well, I didn't want to show you this, but I guess I got no choice. <sighs> Keep your eyes peeled, because here it comes. Here come my titties. Ah! Your hand is all swollen and red. Ew! What happened, Daru? If you must know, I'm allergic to buckwheat. What? Ah! Oh, that's not good. Allergic reactions to buckwheat can vary, though they're usually on the severe side. With Ty Fijinato making soba noodles in his dressing room. Gabriel was lucky to be alive, considering all the sober flower that was swirling in the air. Good thing I left pretty quick. I managed to escape with just a mild reaction. But I just she showed as he was being carried away, and look what it did in my poor hands. It must have been sober brought his clothes or something. If I inhaled any of that sober flower, I'd have a seizure and be good night, Gabriel. I never could stay in the dressing room for very long. A personal allergic to we couldn't have been in. Couldn't be in a room with soba flour in the air. And certainly couldn't use soba dough as a murder weapon either. This isn't good. You knew it would come to this, didn't you? That's why you never mentioned her allergy. <laughs> as if I would do anything so underhanded. I was simply trying to protect the privacy of this witness. Yeah! I'm sick of all these accusations. Why don't I just test and get it all out in the open, yeah? Ah! Oh, okay. This is... Hmm. I should get around this. Gary's buck buckwheat allergy. If I come into the slightest contact with buckwheat, I get an allergic reaction. With that much silver flower in the air, that room could have literally killed me. Look at my hand. It's touching Shisha's body caused this much damage. It must have been silver brought those clothes. So I never could have committed that murder in the dressing room. I still can't believe it. I mean, you told me she had a soba allergy. Did you know, Simon? Huh. Does it look like I knew? Uh, protect the privacy of the witness, my foot. What a dirty trick. Now what do we do? There's only one thing to do. Put Prosky a sandbuck to shame without cross-examination. Right. No matter how small, I'll find us an opening and break our testimony down. All right, sounds like we're going to have to press her. Press those big old titties together. Here we go! Woo! Bulk. If I come into co size contact with butt week, I get an allergic reaction. You sure about that? Yes! You're not lying about the soap allergy if you're right. Of course not. I swear in the grave my father up in heaven, the fucking dick. I can even get you, get a doctor's certificate if you want. She seems to be telling the truth. I've had this allergy for as long as I can remember. But I never dreamt in a million years. It clear me a murder. Man, you'll come out of this smell like a delicate butt wig flower to boot. 
<laughs> well said, your honor. And with that much silver flower in the air, that room could have literally oh, kill me. I'll give you that. There was quite a bit of flowers scattered about in that dressing room. But you went in to pay your respects to your master regardless, right? Yeah, but like I said, I came right back out. I mean, the silver making tools were right there. You better believe I was careful not to breathe any of it in. But you said you could you still could have committed this you still could have committed this crime if you held your breath while doing it. That'd be ridiculous! I would have suffocated to death for Shishu did! Yeah, yeah. Yes, you're right. Jeez! Get a grip, will ya? Look at my hand, just touching Shisho's body causes much damage. Maybe there's a twist here. Like you're actually allergic to dogs, and not soba! You kidding? Put a little Jugemu in here! I'll hug and squeeze him till like there's no tomorrow! I'm telling you, I have a genuine, honest to goodness soba allergy! Defense, the witness is clearly as an authentic allergy to buckwheat. Any further deliberation on the matter would be meaningless, pointless, worthless, and our greatest, greatest preposterous! You're the man, lawyer girl! Double slam! Oh, right, right! I'm just starting to think the same thing myself. Doesn't mean I have to like it, though. I probably got this allerg allergic reaction on my hand because I. here because I touched Shisho. It's gross, old body! It must have been silver broth on his clothes. I have a question about that, actually. If you're allergic to soba, does that mean you're allergic to the noodle broth, too? Well, the buckwheat from the noodles can dissolve into the broth, so duh! Do you think soba broth can just be, be just as deadly to me? Don't you know anything? What an amateur! I'm sorry! Do I look like a doctor to you? Look! Anything that has soba in it, or anything that has touched soba, is like poison to me! So I never could have committed the murder in the dress room. So I just want to cover all my bases again. But could the murder have possibly occurred somewhere other than the dressing room? That's out of the question. <clears throat> By even asking, you show your complete disregard for all we have discussed until now. Yes, I have to agree, you stupid girl. Uh, that's good and go, go around and suggest a new premises without bases. For you, Shisho didn't take a single step for his dressing room around the time of the murder. Well, that is unfortunate for everyone. Dead! Ah! I had a feeling that might be a just keep pressing, because <laughs> I'm kind of fucked. Gabriel could not have possibly committed this crime in a room where Soba was being made. <laughs> Isn't that right, little butterfly? I don't know, I wasn't really paying attention. Oh, butterfly! Uh, finally the time has come for the last rites of the victim to begin. Ha! Huh? No, not my server shop! Oh, oh, Mr. Wright, do it at a time like this! Turn the case! I did that already! Of course! There's only one thing to do! What are you smiling about? I'm about to lose, it's all your fault! The pressure uh, overwhelmed you! Nope! It's just... The worst of times are when lawyers have to force their biggest smiles! I see. You have no rebuttal, and so the only thing left to, to you is a smile. Well, I can do that too. Oh, ho, 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 
You must know. I'm gonna lose to Buckwheat. 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 Buck my wheat, please. Mon What if a certain piece of evidence doesn't mean that what we think it means? If that's the case, I might be able to prove that Garu could have committed this crime. No matter how hard you search your mind, you cannot overturn fa facts. Well, my sights. No, no further objections. I'll hand out my ruling. And you're gonna lose! True! I can't overturn facts! But what if we get our facts about a piece of it is wrong? Hmm. Got our facts wrong. What are you talking about now? Which piece of evidence do you mean, Miss Sykes? Please point out to this court! This evidence proves that Gayru could have killed her master, even with her soap allergy! Ah! Take that! No, because we can't bring it up. It's Master Tenido's note! A note? Preposterous. What possible connection could there be between the witness's allergy and that note? The answer lies in the true meaning of this note. It's true meaning. So it does not mean I am resting, do not disturb, as we had assumed. But rather, it actually means this doe is resting. Do not disturb it! Oh, okay. I, I see, I, I didn't really understand it beyond, myself, to be honest. Wait a minute, Athena. This doesn't make any sense. You're right, it doesn't. After all, as Bucky told us many, many a time, you don't let Soba, don't rest! What does Jim Jam gotta do with anything? This is it, the home stretch. This note and Mr. West's words have led me to the conclusion that Mr. Shane was... Not making anything. Making soba noodles. Making udon noodles. My god, yep, it's making udon noodles! The victim, Typhoon Tornado, was not making buckwheat noodles! He was making ordinary udon noodles instead! Old Kunka! The layer of flour in the dressing room wasn't soba flour, but plain old wheat flour for udon! So actually, it was totally possible for Gamer to be in that room and kill our master! What? That's true! That changes everything! Your Honor! The events requested the flower they would be tested immediately! Objection! No! But Soba noodles were found in the bowl, and Gamer didn't have a reaction on her hand! How do you explain those things? Um, well... Even if... Even were to on flour instead of soba, you still cannot prove Geru committed the crime! But, but Don't lose your nerve now! Charging forward or you'll feel my blade your neck! I know the threats already! God! I got it! Talk about pressure! Alright, Athena, take a deep breath and go over everything again! Oh, we're doing this! We're going to my brain! Here we go! Ah! It's Athena's turn! I'm going to revisualize the case from start to finish. I have to find conclusive evidence that Gamer committed this murder. I got snowboard in my brain. What was Master Shane making his dressing room? Food on. Master Shane making Uda. On my lunch, Master Shane must have been making Uda noodles in his dressing room. But like the crime scene indicates otherwise. What was found on the bowl on the table? Fucking soba. Uh, uh, soba in that boat. Here we go. Uh, uh, uh. Even though the master wasn't making soba, soba noodles were found at the scene. So that means the noodles had to have come from somewhere. Wait a minute. What mysterious serving of soba noodles? Hmm. Sounds familiar. Where did the soba in the bowl on the table come from? Uh, Gator, uh, Gator made it. A catering service. The the master's soba stock. <laughs> it's soba stock. Boom! Yeah! So was from the master soba stock. Soba noodles found at the scene were from the master stock of uncooked noodles. Then, how did the culprit go out of her way to cook that soba and put it in a bowl? How did the culprit cook the so soba noodles and put it in a bowl? She likes soba. I do not know. Uh, yeah! So was found at the scene. So that means the culprit must have taken the udon with her to hide it. Why did the culprit take the udon away and hide it? It must have been because she killed him with the udon dough. Has a grudge against udon. Killed him with the soba dough. Cause she killed him with the udon dough. 
Ah, uh, oh, the truth! Murder weapon was Udon Do! So the Udon was the Do was the real weapon used to kill Tabu Dinado! And the reason why no weapon was found is because Garu got rid of the Do somehow! Ah, brain! It's time! The real murder weapon was the Udon Do the victim made! I can find this dough. That will prove my theory correct. And it undeniably prove Gehru's guilt. Objection. But even if we could find Miss Doe, what makes you think that it would prove that she's the one? Please recall when I witness testimony, Prosecutor Sabani. If the injury on Gehru's forehead was caused by the victim's knife, then Gehru's blood must have dripped down onto to the dough used as the murder weapon. That would make the dough pretty conclusive evidence, wouldn't you agree? Ah, but where is this conclusive evidence? Hmm. <clears throat> Let us hear your theory of where this murder weapon is. Well, it, it, it's... If I can't find the answer in the evidence, I have on hand, we'll lose this trial! So how did Gehru get rid of the Udon Do? Think, Athena, what do I have that points to the suspicious behavior on Gehru's part? Now then, Miss Sykes, let's hear your answer. Where's the real murder weapon hidden? Nice barking you did there. I assume you have the bike to back it up. Stop distracting me! So see not right now. This piece of evidence can point us to the location of the hidden murder weapon. Uh oh, the dog. Boom! Damn it! No, it doesn't, you silly girl. No, die! She gave it to the. She buried it in the dog bowl, though. I thought I'd show it in the the diagram there, but I guess not. Oh, here, here Simon's statement. Before Bucky came to the theater, Gabriel was outside feeding her dog a number of dumplings. The dog buried his leftovers in the yard. Here we go. Take that! Gayru! Huh? What is it? I'm just an innocent girl with big titties. I don't know anything about murder. Stop that cute act in your balloon hat! <laughs> Gehru got rid of the dough she used to kill Master Tio in a bold and daring way. She did it right in front of Prosecutor Blackwell's nose. By feeding it to her dumb dog! You know! Uh, I... Ah! Ah! Of course! Now it all makes sense. I was puzzled as to why Gehru, who should not know her own dog's eating habits, would feed Jigemu more than he could possibly finish. Your Honor! Please order an investigation of the yard right now! And what should the police in the theater be looking for exactly? Jigemu must have buried his leftover dumplings somewhere around the doghouse. Dumplings that Gehru made out of the Udon blood dough with her blood in it! <laughs> Ew, you found your dog, you psycho! <laughs> this is preposterous! No! I want to thank you, Simon. If you hadn't kept me going, I might have given up along the way. I absolutely would have given up. I know, I'm pretty amazing. Huh. What are you blathering all about? Still have work to do. Now, by your hand, finish this arrested case off, Athena. And give me my sober shot back. You got it! <gasps> Here we go. It's time! Garu! Do you remember what you, s you said you would happen when the truth is finally revealed? It's just revealed! It'll be your balloon or mine that goes pop! Got it! Your, your balloon about to blow up! Here we go! Well, now the truth is out! It looks to me like... It's your balloon that goes pop! <laughs> oh, I actually wonder, do you think it's gonna be like her boobs like pop or something? And she's, she ain't got titties at all! <gasps> ah! I lost again! <laughs> I, I, I'm a Kuga artist. I was the one who was supposed to inherit that name. But then, then Shishu. Ah, ah, ah. 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 Why are my balloons bursting, Daddy? Are you mad at me? I, I've been a bad girl. 
Oh, I knew it! She ain't got no titties! The hair was a lie, too! Are you ready to tell us everything now, Garu? Oh my god, that was the biggest plot twist yet! Ah, oh, no! Beautiful titties, come back to me! Ah! The reason I entered the world of Kuka in the first place was to follow my father's wonderful footsteps in her stage name. His stage name? You don't mean... It ain't a tornado. I knew it wasn't very good at storytelling, but I thought that... If I did that stupid balloon thing like she should want it, I'd inherit the name someday. But Master Shano gave the name to his junior's disciple. <laughs> yeah. That's why I took my revenge and she should join this show celebrating the name succession. So that was your entire motive? <laughs> I doubt anybody else could understand, but... Hearing my father's name was everything to me. It's my whole reason for living. Of all the days you could have taken off revenge, why did you choose the day of the show? Because I wanted to pay you what a bad person was rightfully mine. I wanted to put the blame on him sh the show where all the Tenero fans were gathered. But then, Nuendo tried to shift the blame onto Bucky Wake. And now we know the whole story. It's just one more thing I want to know. You know Master Tenedo was making udon in his dressing room yesterday. No, I didn't. I saw the sub of Mickey Tools. I was worried about my allergy. It was my only chance to get my revenge on the two of them. So I went ahead and did it. So, Supreme Mint meditated crime. But the end, you only went through with it on an impulse. Then, the allergic reaction on your hand. So from touching the soba in the refrigerator with your bare hands, when you were tampered with the crime scene after your master's death. Yeah. By that time, I wasn't clear. I wasn't clear headed enough to worry about my allergy. Garu, how would you do all this, you idiot? Garu, I get your desire to inherit your father's name. What you really should have what, what you really should have inherited from him wasn't his name, but his heart. His heart. <laughs> His heart? It's okay, I, I'm back again. I've got more anal beads. Do you have anything to add, Prosecutor Samani? Any objections? No, Your Honor. Miss Athena Sykes. What? Yes? That's the first time he's used my name! Yay! Fuck you! I shall be sure to remember your name. Really? It seems he's finally recognized you as a proper adversary. Thanks! That's all I asked, Prosecutor Samani. Looks like there are no further objections. Bail up, please bring in the defendant. Okay. I'm just gonna roll him in here. Hey, look, I'm all sobered up. Ah, oh, good. See, so you made a full recovery. Yay. Now then, the score finds the defendant. Bucky Wit. What? Not guilty. Like to go fatty. Fly. Ah. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Ah. Oh, yes, you are free to go, you fat little shit. Go back to making your dumb noodles. Ah. Oh, ah. Oh, so much better than butterflies. Ah. Oh, the scores are turned. Everybody can get the Back out of here! Bah! I'm hungry. I want some more noodles. I'll give you some noodles, G. Oh yeah, baby! May 13th, 11:55 a.m. District Court Fan Number Six. Congratulations, Bucky! I'm so glad you were found innocent. Thanks for everything, Miss Chickadee. What's so sucks that you were accused of a crime you didn't commit? Did Window have it out for you or something? I don't think so. Nuendo said it was a spur of the moment idea he got when he saw the Serba theme cards. Simon, where have you been? I've been standing right next to you the whole time, you idiot. Stopped in Nuendo's questioning. Only you, Bucky, can get framed for a crime on a whim. No way. I almost got convicted out of a convenience. Well, I see you've been completely cleared of all charges, so.
fuck up, Bucky! Fuck the fuck up! On a more important note, what I really want to know is... Why didn't Master Tano let Gabriel inherit her father's name? What? What do you mean, on a more important note, Miss Jiggity? Oh, don't be such a wet blanket! <laughs> just, just go with the flow! Come on! You think the Master was trying to encourage her to quit the entertainment business? Ah, uh, that's not it. He didn't give the name to her because he wanted Gary to find, find her own calling in life. For whatever she wanted without being bound by her father's name. Or Rukugo. Making Udon was his way of showing his support for her, and her, her new endeavor. So that's why he called you to the, the theater, huh? To teach him how to make Udon. Huh. Well, roundabout way. Never, see, never seen. That's Master Sinatum for you. This entire incident happened because of a misunderstanding. How sad. By the way, Gary wasn't the only person Master Tanita was trying to cheer on. Another person in question still seems unaware of this master, the Master's intentions. What? Talking about me? Come on, no way! All old man ever did was criticize my soba. It's not true, Bucky. There must be a way to make Bucky see just how much Master Tanita care about him! Here we go! Fucking wet soba deed! Take a good look, Bucky. Whose name is on there as the holder of the title deed? It's still in my name. Master Tanita was just up to one of his tricks when he said he stole the shop from you. He's trying to force you to grow into a truly capable owner in, in your father's stead. Probably use some tough love on you so the shop wouldn't go so go belly up. <laughs> it's a really stupid way to go about it, but okay, sure. Like I said, he, he couldn't have done anything with with it himself anyway. Oh, hell! I see. Ugh, gross. Ugh. Oh, never mind. You gotta put some more of that product in your hair, man. I never knew. That's Tornado. I'm so sorry. <laughs> hey, Bucky, ha, huh, Bucky. Pay it back by living up to his expectations. Uh, uh, oh, 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 God. Oh. Thanks, Simon. And you too, Miss Chickadee. One day, my soap is going to be so good, it'll lock that old man's socks clean off. After all, I'm the fourth generation order the wet soba. Wet Noobal number four. Well, I better get back to my shop. I gotta get ready for the, the lunch rush. Hold on! Can I put an order for delivery, Bucky? Yeah, yes, Mr. Chickadee? Did you deliver a bowl of udon to Geru? Path for master. You got it! I'll make sure it's got all the TLC master today would have pa packed in it, too. Thank you. Well, see you. Be sure to drop by the shop sometime. I will. And I'll bring the whole agency with me. So when they ever come back. You're so proud, Bucky. I'll have the best soap in town waiting for you when you come. Peace out, home Dizzle! Alright, bye. They crash the skateboard on his way out, falls down the stairs, and dies. Ah, oh, well, never mind. Looks like I'm losing my soap shop after all. Great. Thanks, Athena! Well, what did I do? You should have told him not to skateboard inside the building! God! We have rules for a reason, you Athena! Ah, it's nice to see somebody giving it their all, isn't it? What if I leveled up any thanks to the, this case? Nope, you're still level one. <laughs> Don't kid yourself. Child would have been a spectacle and a half had I not been by your side. You don't know that! Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> For a lawyer who's versed in psychology, you're too, too full of weak points. You should learn to analyze yourself more objectively. Or you can just teach me your famous mind trick, Simon! No. <laughs> why did shut someone down? And why not? Because I'm a prosecutor! I'm gonna use it against you. As the more pesky lawyers there are, the harder my job becomes. So it's in my best interest for you to remain green forever. Hey! What about what's in my best interest, huh? Besides, weren't you the one who had the wool pulled over your eyes by a window? Must you remind me? How could I have known a window would be would be do time time soa? Hey, speaking of time soa, just saw something funny. Oh goody. I can't wait. Okay, here it is. In time soba, why didn't mod number nine get counted? Come on, do you know Simon? Huh, should I know? Because, seven, eight, nine! <laughs> Motherfucker! That's it, you're dead for that! Oh, oh, Simon, no, put those figures away! You become a idiot! Ah! The judge comes out, oh, you two! Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> thank you, thank you, I'll be here all week. We're only on the floor laughing! Bravo Copper! Huh, that. I should have known. Come on, let's go get soba or something, go home. Oh, 
No, you know what? I've lost my appetite after that joke. Do I treat? I'll treat you to 50% of the town. Don't forget, you still owe me for that mind you. <laughs> really, Simon? Wouldn't hurt for you to pay for me every once in a while, you know? Yes, it would. <laughs> Let's squawk and start walking, Athena. Come, Taka. Ah! Come on, Athena, we're riding on Taka. Uh, what? Just hop on his back. It's fine. He's totally used to it. Uh, okay. <laughs> they just hop on Taka's back. They lift it. <laughs> they lift both Athena and Blackwell off the ground. Holy shit! Taka is also part Gryffindor! Ah! <laughs> we fucking fly off. Uh, hey! Wait for me! I may still have a way! I may still have a ways to go! As a lawyer! Just like Mr. Wright, Apollo, and Simon before me. I'm going to get there someday. After all, I've inherited their passion for courts and the law. Shape, shape, we fair. I can, I can do this. I can do it. End. Filler case end. That was fun. I enjoyed that. I still wouldn't have minded, uh, like, a flashback case that related to to this. But I suppose, you know, I had to have her moment in the, in the the sun at some point. And hey, we got fucking Blackwell, right? That's, that was for me, that was the biggest treat here. Although, honestly, I, I think I I think I still probably would have preferred him to be, uh, her, her going against him in, in the courtroom. Then to Yuta again, but, eh, whatever, right? Turn about revolution! The final one, the final moment of fucking truth. I think you guys said this one was supposed to be pretty good for a final case. That's good. It, it fucking better be. Been up to some shit going down. But yeah, overall, definitely enjoyed that. Uh, it was definitely probably one of the better filler cases uh, out of any of the games. And it didn't overstay its welcome, which I think is good. But anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. And subscribe if you're not already. Become a picky penguin. Boy, this will be where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time. Stay classy!